Okay, number seven in your class work for inverse and joint variation ask you to find r when uh, v equals 18 pi and h equals 2. So we have that uh, v varies jointly with r squared and h. So it's multiplied by some uh, constant of variation. And jointly r squared and h are multiplied together on the other side. Uh, so we can find our k uh, through this initial uh, condition. So we have 24 pi as our volume is equal to pi, uh, oops, is equal to k times r squared, which is uh, 2 squared times 6. Uh, so we'll look with 24 pi is equal to uh, k times 2 squared times 6 is 24. Uh, so divided by 24 on both sides, k is equal to pi. Now we can rewrite our relationship as uh, V equals pi r squared h, which is the volume of a cylinder. Uh, and now uh, we can find R when we have a volume in h. Uh, so we write this as 18 pi is equal to pi uh, times r squared and h is 2. So we can cross out a pi on both sides and dividing by 2 we get that 9 is equal to r squared. And since we're working with distance and length, uh, when we take the square root on both sides, we're going to keep the positive value because we can't have a negative radius. Uh, so our radius is going to be equal to positive 3.